Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing two pack openings for patrons of the channel. Um, one of these is for Pedro, and the other one is for soldiers and airmen of the USAG from Wyatt's in brand Germany. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Let's hope that you get something really good out of these. I'm going to start with the Return to Ravnica pack. Uh, this has got to be the best pack right now in standard for getting really good uh, legacy things out of. There's some incredible cards out of here, including Abrupt Decay and Deathrite Shaman, which in foil, both of those are insane. Uh, I'm going to go through the pack and also tell you what I would pick in a draft setting. Let's see what we got here. Chronic Flooding. Giant Growth. Skull Rend. Goblin Electromancer. It's a good common. Concordia Pegasus. Destroy the Evidence. Stonefair Crocodile. Gore House Chainwalker. In Action Junction. Is it Guildgate? Codex Shredder. Blister Coil Weird. Fencing Ace. Ooh, and a really nice rare here. Supreme Verdict. Excellent. Amazing card. Also got a centaur there and a mountain. <sighs> Makes the pick too easy when you've got an incredible card like Supreme Verdict. And this, this guy's just a house in draft. Great card overall. Legacy playable because it says do cannot be countered. Uh, wonderful, wonderful card. Also playable in modern. Uh, very easy first pick here. Outside of that, the other cards that I really like, if I see in this for a second pick, um, I like the mana fixing. In Axon Junction, I actually like, uh, but only as a one of in a very tempo y deck. Uh, Gorehouse Chainwalker I really like and the Stonefair Crocodile Electromancer can be good in some decks too so this is actually a pretty deep draft pack oh uh, tough one if this was coming to me second I'm assuming that I wasn't already locked into colors um, I like the Stonefair Crocodile a lot um, gaining lifelink can matter when you're racing. Uh, it's a very solid body for 3-2. There is clearly a deck in which the Fencing Ace goes into. A few enchantments on this guy, and he is incredible. Um, but you need the support, and this guy occasionally even tables. So I'd watch for him on the way back if there's the, the support in the packs. But this would be my second choice. Congratulations there. Really nice one. Well worth the pack. Second pack opening that I've got here is for Conspiracy. This is a lot of fun to draft. I've drafted this twice so far. Very, very solid, entertaining set. Not as much value as I was hoping for out of the packs, but it's clearly designed for a casual market. Lots of fun. Uh, Courier Hawk. One, two, with Vigilance and Flying there. Enclave Elite, with Multi-Kicker. Island Walk. Pilfered Ox, your 2 4. Power of Fire. Pitch Burn Devils. When it dies, it deals 3 damage to target creature or player. Sakura Tribe Elder, wonderful mana fixing. This is somebody I really like in draft. Liliana Spectre. The double black here makes this one a little bit tough to play. I like it in 1v1. It is designed for multiplayer, but it brings a lot of hate to you. Tragic Slip. Another really good removal card, especially in multiplayer. It's very easy to get that morbid triggered, and the minus 13, minus 13 kills pretty much everything in the environment. Core Chant. Provoke. 
fun little combat trick. Not as good as I want it to be. I've tried to use it a few times. I probably picked this one too high. Intangible Virtue, wonderful for the token deck, and there are several white token generators in this set. Praetor's Howl. I really, really like this in multiplayer. It's often forecasting cost for three two twos. Bite of the Black Rose. This is the Will of the Council. Uh, definitely seen this wipe the board a few times. Let's see what we've got coming up here in the rare spot. It's blue. Oh, that is an amazing one. Misdirection. This has got to be the best rare out of the set. Up there with Stifle. Very, very good card. Super happy to see this card reprinted. Um, I definitely put this on the top of the best cards out of this set. This has been two amazing packs here for patrons of the channel. Uh, Misdirection and Supreme Verdict. Um, we've also got a conspiracy here, which is creatures of the uh, you control with the chosen name have haste. Um, this is actually really good in draft. If you're able to pick up four or five creatures and an aggro deck, immediate action is a very good conspiracy. It's one that is not really cube playable because most cubes are singleton cubes, but it's it's very good in a draft. Um, that is a tough one from a draft perspective, I would definitely uh, pick the misdirection because it allows you to redirect somebody's removal uh, to their own creature, getting a nice two for one. You can even play it when you're tapped out. Um, I would probably take the conspiracy though as the top pick uh, if it wasn't for the misdirection because I really like how this can affect four or five creatures in your deck and just turn your deck into an aggro deck. In a multiplayer environment, Instead of 1v1, the choice is a little bit tougher. Um, I still like Tragic Slip as great removal. The Tribal, uh, Sakura Tribe Elder, um, is really nice mana fixing. So these are kind of, these are the top cards that I would really be looking at also beyond those uh, last two. So, uh, thank you guys so much. For supporting the channel, I will be sending these cards out very soon in the mail to the patrons. Um, there are still some spots in order to get a pack opening done and put online available through Patreon. Um, there are five more left at the $2 level for $2 a month. Um, these, they'll go quickly, and I hope... Uh, to see a few more people supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. These were two incredible packs. I can't guarantee the future packs will be this good. I mean, Supreme Verdict and Misdirection, you cannot ask for more. That is just great out of two packs.